changing vectors is crucial sometimes. Let's say we would have a part that looks like this and we want to make a hole in this direction and it's gonna go like this. This is our vector. That would probably uh, cause a crash because the cutting head would touch this surface. So in that example we would want to lift the vector like this and cut it like that. And then of course we would have to process this part in some other way in another machine or yeah. Um, that is fairly easy to do in iGEMS CAD CAM uh, in our 3D 5X module. Let's have a look uh, at our part that's named change vector in the 3D 5X samples library. Okay so I've already prepared this part with curves looks like this um, and we just want to add toolpaths to it so I click plus as I usually do I select the top surface that seems like a good starting point so I click enter this direction and that's our bottom curve like that but you'll notice that we have some red vectors here which means that the tilt angle is too steep so uh, I want to look at what kind of cutting head I'm using okay so I'm using tilter and that's not a good option for this cut we want a 3d I, I talked about this we have uh, we have a 3d cutting head or we don't but there are cutting 3d heads which have a rotation like this and then pivot uh, which can do a 90 degree cut so that's a good option. Let's look. Max tilt angle is 90. Okay. Save. Okay. That looks better. Okay, so these vectors are now blue, which are good. Those vectors are um, red. Let's see what, what uh, happens if we go to toolpath and hit play there. Okay, so we have crashes right there. You see it touches here. That's what I was talking about when we go here and we tilt it down here because it will touch this surface. Alright, so further... Oh, okay. It doesn't look that good. So that's tilt. We're tilting more. That's 94.42 um, degrees. Okay, so we know that we have to change the vectors now. We have to change how we're gonna approach this cut. So, ruled means that we are connecting two curves, a top and a bottom curve, and we're gonna change, or we're gonna cut between them. But we cannot connect, like, between these two, there's only gonna be like a 90 degree cut in... Oh, let me just flip this around. I mean we cannot change how these looks. So we have to change the cut type to variable. We want to copy the rule connections, seems like a good idea. But the variable means that we can um, change our vectors from just the top curve. And not and just ignore the bottom curve. So cut type variable, we want to change the vectors. So these three vectors or four vectors, they're pretty good because they're just straight down. But these four vectors are something we need to change. Okay, so let's go to the first one. It's 90 degrees. We want to change the absolute angle, let's say, oh no, not that one, that one. Let's say, I don't know now, let's just say 60 degrees. Okay, that looks good. Um, now, I can select these three, and that me, and if I, I choose this button, uh, interplate, it means that we, we will change the one that's in between uh, these two. Or if we change to four, 
uh, select four vectors we would change the two in the middle so interpolate yeah, it looks pretty good let's do that for the rest of them so that one absolute 60 and that on the oh sorry 60 like that and select these three interpolate okay that looks really good. So, close. Let's see what we got. Okay, so no tilt errors, no collision errors. It's cutting. It's cutting. I mean, I'm happy with that. It's. We would have to come back and do something. You see, this area right here is not cut, but. We have to process that in, in some other way. Um, there's one more thing I would like to show you in this. Because if we go to variable, there are a couple of things we can use edit if we want to. Let's do that for this thing. Edit. We can use normal to surface if we want to. We can pick a surface. Um, just straight down point we can point to let's just right click nearest right there um, side free that means we can just rotate this around like that and there's also another Let's just change this back to 60 or to, let's interpolate, done, these two, interpolate, like that. Um, there's also a clamp value, so if I select these four, I can use a clamp value, let's say 60. Oh, okay, so 90. Ninety. So if I select these and I set a clamp value to six, 60, that means these vectors will not exceed 60 degrees, um, which is handy if, let's say that would be, this one would be cut with our tilter, there's a 45 degree uh, limitation to that head. The clamp value would be good to put at 45 degrees then, because then we know that you will not cut uh, at an angle that exceeds 45 degrees. Uh, and there's also a simulation button here, which yeah checks for tilt and collision uh, errors. But that's it for uh, the vectors. Um, if you have any questions, just drop it down in the comments and I'll try to, I'll make my best, uh, I'll do my best to answer them as quick and accurate as possible. Have a great day.